the Washington Commanders and the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals are three and a half point favorites. Washington, you may, may have a quarterback. And this may have been his breakout performance last night. Jaden Daniels, 21 for 23, 294 yards, three total touchdowns, two in the air, one on the run, no turnovers, 141.7 passer rating, some incredible throws. The throw to McLaurin at the end of the game, that was a thing of beauty. That was a perfect throw right in the breadbasket. Sensational job by him. The commander's offense looks a lot better. Shout out to, I never thought I'd say this, but shout out to Dan Quinn for having the explosive offense it seems like that Washington has here. Washington, can you believe this, is leading the NFC East. That is absolutely wild to think about. I never had that in the first three games. I apologize to Washington. I thought this team was dead in the water. I thought this is a rebuilding year. They're not going to do much. Boy, they really have shown, and they got some weapons. They got Robinson. They got Eckler, even though he got hurt later in the game, but he had a touchdown. We mentioned McLaurin. Cliff Kingsbury has really stepped it up here. Um, as coordinator for Washington. 14 consecutive drives with points. The punter wasn't, you know, I, I don't think there was any, yeah, the punter didn't even, the punter has not been shown since week one, okay? Washington's offense looks awesome right now. And it was just an amazing performance. It really um, could be a turning point for Washington this season. Maybe not, but I think that made America open their eyes to like, wow, this team, Jaden Daniels might be him. Washington might be an it team this year. Arizona, we thought they were the it team. And they might still be, but tough loss. I mean, after you put up 34 and a half points in, in the first two weeks, they just struggled in this one. But, but, you know, only like they only had one play of at least 10 yards. What do they have on this game? Like 12, 20, 13 points, I believe, or something like that. They, yeah, in the second or third, in the second or third quarter, they had at just one play of at least 10 yards. The offense just really didn't get anything going. They couldn't get the ball to Harrison enough. There was one play where Kyler threw it to Harrison, like deep, and that was one, all right, Marvin's down there, I'm just going to toss it, and it ended up being an interception. Offense really struggled in this game, and just, just a real tough spot. They got to get the ball to Harrison more. They got to try to figure it out, because we know how good he can be. We saw it in week two. I'm riding the hot hand. I'm riding the, I, I didn't think, I, I thought about this a lot. I'm riding the hot hand. The commanders right now, their offense is just on fire. Jaden Daniels looks like he's, he's probably the best rookie quarterback on the bunch right now. And I just think Commanders are going to win this one here. Or if not, at least make it a two or three point loss to Arizona. Maybe they lose by a point because there's an extra point that uh, that's missed. But I think this will be a close game. But I think Washington pulls it out, gets the win, and improves to three and one, which I will hate because that means the Giants are <laughs> that means the Giants are really losing their spot there in the NFC East. But you know, I, I I'm just really impressed with this Commanders team right now. All credit to them. They look really good. They look fantastic. All credit to Washington. Dan Quinn, Kingsbury. Daniels, great job. I think it continues on Sunday. Give me the Commanders plus three and a half.